Hello everyone and welcome to this video on rule of inference. So in this video I'm going to prove the modus tollens law using a truth table. And the modus tollens law, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is also called denying the consequent. And I have this law in the blue rectangle here. And it states that if not Q is true and if P implies Q is true, then not P is also true. Okay, and we can write this as a tautology or as a corresponding tautology. So it would be not Q and P implies Q. All of that implies not P. Or we can write it like this. Let's see, not Q and P implies Q. All of that is logically equivalent to not P. And this is if not Q is true. And if P implies Q is true. Okay. So that's just a, another way of writing the modus tollens law. All right, so now let's go ahead and prove this by using a truth table. So I'm going to create our, our columns here. So we're going to use the P proposition Q. And then I'm going to do not P and not Q. And then P implies Q. And I'm going to write its logical equivalence here. So it's logically equivalent to not P or Q. Okay, and these are our columns that we're going to use in the proof. Okay, and then we're going to have four rows. So let's see, one, two, three, and four. Okay. And now let's write down our true and false values. So I'm going to use T for true and F for false. So we get T, which is true, true, false, and false for P. And then we can get true, false, true, false for Q. And so now not P in that first row would be false. And not P in this next row would be false. And then true and true for the next two rows because our P value is false on those last two rows. Um, that's why our not P is true on the last two rows. And because our P value is, uh, our P proposition is true for the first two rows, our not P proposition is false. Okay, so I think you understand that. And let's see, we get not Q here, so we get false, then true, false, and true. Okay, so now we get P implies Q or another way of looking at it is not P or Q. So that means wherever Q is true, then uh, this statement here will be true. So P implies Q will be true. So we can just look at Q and wherever Q is true, we're gonna put true here. And let's see, wherever not P is true, then this uh, P implies Q statement will also be true. So we could look at the last row and we get true there. And then we're going to get false on the second row. Okay. So now we have proven this, this law. So how, you know, how do we prove that? Well, let me show you. I'm going to uh, basically put a rectangle around the the main row that proves this. So again, what this law states is that if not Q is true, so let's look at the not Q column and let's look where it's true at. So it's true here and it's true here. All right, so if not Q is true and P implies Q is true, 
So where is P implies Q uh, equal to true? Well, that's here, here, and here. But now we need both of them to be true. So the only row where both of these two uh, statements are true is the last row. So let's get rid of some of those rectangles that I drew. And I'm just going to put the green rectangle over the two statements that are true, not Q and P implies Q, where both of them are true, which is that very last row. So now if not Q is true and P implies Q is true, then not P is true. And so now let's look at not P, which is in this column here. And we can see that it is indeed true, like we expected. So this basically proves uh, the modus tollens law. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And if you found this video helpful, maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.